Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mike Walker, long time no see. I'm sorry about that, I've been away for a while. Um, working on my other channel, uh, Between the Lakes, with uh, the wife. We go to Spain and uh, we do quite a few uh, videos over there. If you want to have a look at it, it's uh, Between the Lakes with Mike and Yvonne. And you'll find that on YouTube. It's all about Torre Vica, the Costa Blanca and that type of thing. But, getting back to business, um, I've just bought this um, Lumix 70 to 300 millimeter lens and before I do a full review on it I just thought I'd share um, this weekend where I filmed a folk festival in Cleckheaton just for my own uh, pleasure and, and to try out this lens and uh, I didn't use a tripod I just used the OIS in the lens coupled with the OIS in the camera it's an S5 camera I had the um, video stabilization on as well and uh, it was very impressive, you know, um, you could handheld at 300 millimeters and you could get a rock steady shot. You'll see in this, um, in this example, I'm gonna put a, a five, six minute uh, video of what I filmed at the weekend. So see what you think and uh, let me know in the comments. And um, here we go, have a look. So here we go. I will identify the, um, the long shots. That first one was, and uh, these are sort of between 70 and 100. Uh, that one's uh, probably about the same, about 100. That's a long shot there, that's a 300mm shot. Uh, so is that one, and that one. And you can see how steady it is, that's back to wide now, fairly wide there, maybe 100mm. That's a 300mm shot. And uh, that's the full wide from the same spot, so you can see how far that had gone in. And if you look at the sort of the back of the image, you'll see um, the steadiness of the camera position in the frame you know it looks really rock solid and uh, to say I'm hand holding it and um, it's very impressive um, I suppose the only downside is uh, when you try and pan um, it, you can sometimes get a jerk but on the S5 there is a setting um, which steadies or makes the panning a little bit more fluid and it's a little setting you put on the um, on the OIS but it still does jerk a little bit, um, but it's probably a little bit better than if you didn't use it. Um, some of these shots, um, I've slowed down some of them, a couple of them, only because, for effects really, um, but uh, it does help to uh, smooth out the movement if it's, uh, if it's a little bit wobbly. Uh, but most of these shots are not sort of slowed down, they're just uh, normal shots. And um, that one for example, I'm sort of the town hall steps there, and uh, you know, same as that shot there, same place. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive how, how steady it is. So it's really the S5 image stabilisation, the in-body uh, stabilisation on the camera, coupled with the lens, which gives you that rock solid steady shots. All these are 300 millimeters, um, that one as well. Those people there are probably 200 yards away. I'm back now onto the uh, grass area, which is where those kids were, were dancing and singing. And so I'm a little bit nearer now. It's fairly easy to shoot, uh, you know, this, these type of images with a long lens. You know you're going to get a really nice shot without a tripod using the facilities in the camera and the OIS on the lens. It's a bit more difficult if you're filming um, what's coming up. Uh, in a second where, the, where people are dancing and you're trying to follow them in a long shot then that's a lot more difficult to do without a tripod 
See, this one's okay because it's, uh, it's a wide shot. It's at 70 millimetres. And uh, when we go to uh, the, the longer shot um, and we're following dancers, then uh, it, it does make it a little more tricky. That's a good example of, um, you know, moving from, from left to right position. It can sometimes jar, um, but they don't look too bad. And you can smooth them out a little bit, um, depending on what you're, what you're doing. But, you know, we're talking about live filming, you know, you, you don't know, you can't stage anything. It's all what's happening. This is it, you know, you're recording what is happening in front of you. The disadvantage, of course, is when you want to quickly get, you know, a little bit wider because you need to stand back. Even at 70 millimetres, you, you, you could fair distance away. You know, that long shot previously was, um, I was probably six, seven yards away from that on, a, on 70 millimetres to get a full body shot. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying till the end. Um, I'm really impressed with this uh, 70 to 300 millimeter lens. It fits great on the S5. It's quite well balanced as well. It's not as heavy as um, you know a, a brighter lens. You know the, the other one, which is quite a lot more money, it's of the 700 pounds or so. The f2.8, and it's a lot bigger and a lot heavier. Uh, this is quite light. Um, you know, it's quite big as well. Um, you know, it's got the extending barrel, which makes it quite long. But it's not that heavy uh, for a 300mm lens. So I quite enjoyed using it. And obviously, if you're using it without a tripod, um, you know, it, it, it does get heavy. But not as heavy as a f2.8 lens. Anyway, that's it. Uh, there'll be more about it later. I'll do a, a more in-depth review, uh, like I did with the uh, 1.8, um, which is filming me right now. And um, I'll see you soon.